guys, this is Real Eskenazi from Rise Back, and you're watching Life Proke! Hey music friends, what's up? Marcel Huster here, the Dutch guy, you know, the guy from Life Prague. Keeping it, trying to keep it cool here, because it is extremely warm outside. Temperatures are well over 30 degrees Celsius, so that's warm for Dutch uh, terms. Um, I have a fan here, you can't see it, but maybe you can hear it. And of course I have a big glass of cold drink uh, to keep hydrated. Very important. Cheers guys! But that's not why I am doing this video. I'm doing this video to share an album with you guys. And this is the album I have. Rise Back. The self-titled or titleless debut release by uh, the band Rise Back. And they hail from Istanbul, Turkey. They were founded in 2010. Um, in 2013 they released this album. Uh, so. Well, they've been working hard uh, on creating their sound, creating their songs, um, doing everything by themselves. An independent band without the backing of a label. Doing also the promotion themselves. And that is also one of the reasons why I am sitting here with this in my hand, showing it to you. Because the band has reached out to reviewers, to journalists, uh, you know, bringing their music to their attention and asking, you know, are you interested in reviewing our album, this one? This one here, right here. It's a very nice album. Listen to it, please. Review it. Here's a YouTube link. You can see us. You can listen to us. So I did that. I listened to it and I thought, okay, this sounds nice. This sounds very interesting. Yes, I'm definitely interested in hearing the entire album. But let me tell you this. Uh, I had other bands that uh, asked me if I wanted to review their album and just sent me one or two YouTube clips uh, to, you know, as introduction of their music. It doesn't always guarantee that I will enjoy the entire album. Sometimes the one song that they just gave me was nice and the rest is not so nice. But in this case, fortunately, it worked out very well because I really enjoyed listening to this album. I think it is very good. I think it's a very good band. Um, despite the fact that, in a way, I have to be a little bit critical, their music doesn't really stand out that much in the way that it is really groundbreaking or really that's like, wow! But you have to listen to it and, and realize that these are really good musicians, creating good songs. Um, the album, uh, I would place it somewhere um, in the middle, you know, on the border between melodic hard rock and melodic metal. Uh, because there's a lot of great guitar work on this album uh, by Ali Safa Uzu, that's the guitar player, and that is this gentleman right here. That's the guitar player. We have this gentleman here, that is owner Aksa, the drummer. We have uh, this gentleman here, that is, uh, I have to, I'm cheating because they're difficult names, they're Turkish names. Koner Memili, and then we have, of course, uh, the center of attention, uh, very much deserved, Riela Askenazi, the vocalist of the band. So, no. we are introduced, and you know where they come from, and they have a great album. Um, there's one drawback to this album, uh, and that it is very short. It is only 30 minutes. And I was listening to the album, it's like, is it done already? Is it? Then I checked, it's like there are nine tracks. So shorter tracks. Now, no problem here because they are all very good. And of course we can always play it again and put it on repeat and whatever. We have modern technology so we can keep on enjoying the album. And uh, this is an album you can definitely listen to multiple times and still enjoy it. I, I really did that and I still enjoyed it. Um, but I mentioned that uh, guitar sound. Uh, the, the band is very much influenced by contemporary bands, contemporary metal bands, contemporary hard rock bands, but also gothic female fronted bands, those kind of things. And they try to create their own songs uh, and their own style without being a copycat. They are a female fronted band, but don't start to think that, you know, we have another soprano singer or wannabe soprano singer because those are a lot around as well. Now, uh, Riella has a really powerful rock voice and, and when you listen to the album you really will be impressed by her vocal abilities because she is very good but also guitar wise it's a really nice album, nice crunchy, sometimes really heavy riffs in it, more melodic parts with some acoustic parts as well. So a lot of variety in the songs. Um, the rhythm section is also very good backing up the songs. Uh, 
but you know, being heavy when they need to be heavy and being softer when they need to be softer because there is a really nice ballad on the album and uh, I, I checked out other reviews and the interesting part is that there are two songs that are mentioned in basically every review including this one and that is um, Try To Say, that is a ballad which is uh, a really beautiful song and especially there the vocals of Ruyella really shine, they really will grab you and say wow she is good you know the rest of the songs also but that song in particular Desire. I try to be And the other track that is mentioned is Flower Star and there is a reason for that because that stands out uh, also in the way that it is brought because uh, the first eight tracks of this album are very much guitar dominated you know not annoyingly but the emphasis is very much on the guitars but in that last track Flower Star the emphasis goes away from the guitars a little bit more it becomes a bit of a more electronic song really more of an alternative rock song but very nice as well uh, but there are a couple of other tracks that I really enjoyed, um, for example, uh, The Criminal, uh, but also uh, My Treasure, those two, three, tracks three and four, they really start off with really nice heavy riffing, I love that very much, and then, you know, they move on to a more melodic song, but I like that intro very much. Um, one thing I noticed, I mean, I mentioned uh, who's doing what, and you see four musicians, and I mentioned what they play, um, but going back to that ballad, uh, that starts off with keys and there is no keyboard player listed. I mean, if you open up the booklet, there are a lot of people listed here who are all, well, contributed in some way to this album, uh, but there is no keyboard player listed. So obviously one of the members has played those parts and they do it very well. And what I like is that the keys are very subtle in the music when you listen when you casually listen to this album you might not even notice them but when you listen a little bit closer you will hear them and they are done very well so that is very nice uh, you know and that shows they are really good musicians they can write very good songs i think production wise uh, there is some some profit to be made in the sound of them they, i think they can really improve with a good producer and create a little bit of a better sound but i really enjoyed it and you know i have no comments uh, on their sound or on the quality, they really bring a very good debut album and I'm really impressed by the level that they bring. Um, in the track When the Dreams, I hear a little bit of a more a progressive rock song in it uh, and I like that style and I really hope they are working on a follow-up of this album. I really hope they are venturing a little more into that area because that sound fits the band well and that might make them stand out a little bit more. is in danger of uh, not getting noticed too much. I mean, fortunately, they are doing a lot of effort to be noticed, which is good, uh, but they also should make sure that their music has the power to be noticed. So that is the advice I would give this band, definitely, you know, when they are working on their next album. Make sure that you stand out in the music that you create and not bring a sound that there are already so many other bands of, because then there is a danger that these other bands are there for longer, they already have a following and then when you are a new band trying to rise up it will be very difficult. So, But I think this band has all the tools to be very successful and I wish them a lot of luck and I would say definitely check them out. Um, oh, I still have the booklet in my hands, there's well, not really much, I mean there's some photos and some lyrics in it. Um, so it's nice, you know, at least what they're singing about, very good. Um, the whole package, you know, the whole album is done very well. So uh, they are on the right track. So, well, let me know, have you heard this album? Have you seen this band maybe live? I have no idea, you know, where they play live. But, you know, have you seen them? Are you familiar with them? Let me know as a comment on my YouTube channel. And of course, keep on listening to good music. And I hope you will see me at a new review. And until then, I say cheers, guys.